My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out, and I awoke on the surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone, and I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no. Better not to think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and I'm pleased to welcome you to my new walkthrough of Pikmin. This, in all honesty, has been a long time coming, and uh, I'm glad I finally got around to getting decent enough to get, you know, a nice, you know, 9 or 10 day run into this on the Wii version. So, um, this first level, the impact site, is pretty tutorial ridden, so we're gonna go and get started immediately. I'm gonna explain things as we go, because there's kind of a lot to go into in this. This is basically an RTS game. And I haven't done many, you know, games like this on this channel, aside from maybe, I don't know, Euphoria, but that is a distant cousin to this, so a strange thing has appeared before me. I've barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. Dropped a single seed, is it a machine? Anyway, he's gonna call it an onion, even though it's clearly not what it looks like. And uh, these basically will uh, be the bases for each of our Pikmin. And uh, Pikmin are our little minions here, and uh, they go and sprout in a variety of colors, this being the red one. So, and this is probably one of my more favorite ones. But uh, anyway, the seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. It emits a strange light and sways back and forth without the benefit of wind. So yes, he can't help but think it's calling to him, and he is compelled. Apparently, Olimar likes the shiny things. Anyway, we go and pull it out of the ground, and ladies and gentlemen, our first Pikmin. He is so beautiful. I never want to let him go, but you know, it's time to kick him out of the house. He's ready to fly. Extraordinary! When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Can't it be both? <laughs> anyway, um, its shape is similar to the Pikpik brand carrots he loves so much, so he will call it a Pikmin. Very nice. And now here's gonna tell us all the controls. Um, a lot of people complain about the Wii controls, and a lot of people complain about the GameCube controls. Personally, I'm, I'm just, I'm chaotic neutral in the sense that both are good for some things, while good others are good for, you know, others. Like, there's gonna be some speedrunning things I can't do in the Wii version just because, you know, you know, your, uh, C-stick is weird in this game because you use the D-pad. But, uh, anyway, we're gonna go start building up our, our collection a little bit. Um, you basically throw Pikmin, you make them move things, you carry, you know, certain pellets back to, you know, the onion of its corresponding color, or any color, really. So, say a red Pikmin takes back a red pellet, um, and it says a one on it, you'll hit two. And same thing for slightly larger ones. Um, so anyway, it's sewn a pellet. God damn it, it skips it so fast. But uh, go pick this up, please, will you? Here, just dismiss you so you can pick it up. And now we can go grow our army a little bit, which is pretty nice for us. Um, you can only collect 25 Pikmin in the very first day, which is a little unfortunate. So we can go have them do other things. Except there's a five pellet around here that I'd like to pick up. So, yeah, um, the way this game will work and how subsequent videos will follow is uh, I'll do one video per day, and um, that'll pretty much be it. Luckily, there's a pretty generous saving system, so I don't have to worry too much about, you know, uh, you know, messing up and then having to redo the entire files and stuff, so there he is. Go pick it up. Pick it up. That last one just tripped. He just literally tripped. Um, so each Pikmin has a certain level of uh, life. These ones are basically children Pikmin. They have leaves on their head. Uh, the intermediate stages of their lives, uh, they'll have a bud. And then the ones you want are flowered head Pikmin, which are really nice. So that is what we're going to be shooting for, except we can't, you know, make them go through involuntary puberty in this level quite yet. Uh, we will have to revisit this and collect one of our ship parts, but for the most part, it's not too bad. So come on now. Um, so let's see, we can go get one of them over here. These are, they're also very slow. As they get to higher levels, you'll be able to get them to be much more efficient at doing things. So there's our poor, our pull hold. God damn it. Okay, so something else you can do. You can actually hold on to Pikmin, and you can also just, uh, carry them with you. And later on, we'll be able to switch between different colors by doing that. So, I'm just gonna carry all these back. Those ones are ready to be sprouted and good. Now, personally, I like Pikmin 1, but the other two are, you know, they're pretty good compared to this. Like, this seems so archaic because you can't switch between captains and you've only got three different kinds of Pikmin. And it's just, it feels very old-fashioned when you play the other ones. So, I'm going to go and pick these up. And, I'll, you know, plucking them also does the same, uh, same button as throwing them sometimes. 
Uh, there we go. Uh, look at- he, he just literally face-palmed. Or face- I guess. Plant palmed it, I guess. Alright, so we've got 13 here. That's that's good enough for me. I'm gonna go drop them over here. You can uh, swarm them into certain things and you can also dismiss them. And the thing about the Pikmin AI in this game is they're pretty unusual. If you let them, if you dismiss them, they're just gonna basically go to the nearest thing within like a one foot radius and then like take it take a pellet back to the area or push things. It's kind of annoying, in all honesty. Um, so I'm gonna try and not suck too much at that. Alright, the Pikmin are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. Fascinating. So, I shall sum up all I've learned of Pikmin conduct. So, again, giving us a rehash of that. And so, now, once we're over here, we can go ahead and head up here. That is our engine that we need to go up. And uh, we can go over here and start picking things up. So, that's really nice. Just grow our armada just a little bit. Throw five of them over here. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Yeah, um, so nine days is a little bit out of my reach, but I think I'm I'm pretty close to doing it, so there are only five levels in this game, and that doesn't mean to say it's a short game, because you revisit each one multiple times, and I'm going to try and keep it to a maximum of uh, two days per area, aside from the final level, amongst other things. What are you doing over here? Go away. Go over there, and just chill. Jeez. So yeah, this this game is probably going to go by pretty fast. Today is October 24th of 2014, and uh, you know, there's not really much to do aside um, from other videos. Alice is finishing up. Um, I already finished with Sunshine, Fallout. I'm going to have to start recording again pretty soon. But for the most part, you know, not much is needed. All right, so he's going to tell us that we can press, press it multiple times to pick all the Pikmin. And when he adds Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flush with bright colors. So yeah, you'll notice that sometimes if you just let them stay idle, they'll just turn to like a pale color. And then that's when they're going to do whatever the hell they feel like. And that's kind of annoying, but it, it's that's pretty much how you differentiate it. Um, you know, of course, their sprouts are going to... They're gonna glow when they're ready to, you know, join you. But uh, we've picked all the Pikmin we can pick for this particular level. <laughs> so let's pull the rest of these guys out because we need at least 20 to get the engine back. And um, I'm probably not gonna be reading all of Olimar's dialogue for as good as it is. I think out of all the first party Nintendo characters, Olimar probably has the most unique personality of the bunch and definitely shines through in the second game. Which I hope to do at some point, but god, that is an entire different story compared to this. This is like, easy. Uh, amazing, there's no mistake in my ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I've already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damage craft. Good god for that. So anyway, to get it back to the dolphin, we of course need to get all of our little pig buddies over here to go pick it up. And there they go. Perfect, so all 25 are taking it now. Which means that uh, by the time it gets to the ship, the day will end. So if you still want to explore, go ahead and <laughs> do that, but um, there's not really much else for us to do. We've picked all that we can, and there's, you know, there's just not much else to do. Um, there is a couple of glitches in this game I'd like to address at some point, such as being able to clip out of this area, <laughs> which is, serves no purpose whatsoever, but sometimes I like doing it, but I just suck at it. I did a lot on the GameCube version, it did nothing, it's just kind of a fun thing to do. Just go over here, you can't like, cheap it out and skip the cardboard box part, but... Oh, whatever, are they almost there? They are almost there! Fantastic, look at these guys, they're so adorable. My, my little Pikmin buddies, all working together in harmony. <laughs> Fantastic. So with that, um, we got the lights back on, or we will get the lights back on. And we're functioning! Fantastic. This is a great place to, to live. Oh man, look at it. Yes! <sighs> oh glorious, with the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back toward home. My ship can once again lift off! The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly, but what has become of the remaining parts? The search starts tomorrow. Yes, it does, because that is the end of the first day, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so depending on what parts you're collecting, there are 30 parts we need to collect. And some of them are required, while others are not. And to get the good ending, we're going to have to collect all of them amongst doing other things. But you can also get alternate endings, which are pretty humorous. But for the most part, you know, it's going to be a fairly standard playthrough. And I will show everything this game has to offer. Um, so, that'll hopefully be good. And uh, I'm, I'm guessing this is... Mm, never mind. We'll talk about that a little bit later. There's still a, a lot of recording to be done. 
One day since impact, I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion left off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface. Or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Well, considering it came out of the ground when you approached it, I'm guessing going into space isn't a regular thing for them. Anyway, the dolphin is missing 29 parts. Um, and if he can't recover him, he'll never return to his family on planet Hawkatate. Alright, so yeah, of course he can only survive for 30 more days due to his life support. And uh, now we're going to go to the Forest of Hope. In the next episode, Force of Hope is probably, well, I don't want to say that one is, is tricky, but all things considered, um, I might not be able to do that one in two days. <laughs> and I don't know why that's the one that trips me up, but it is. So next time on Pikmin, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be taking a little adventure off to Force of Hope. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time.